Okay, in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to build part of a weather station. Now, this is the first part. There are two other videos that will show you how to build some other bits to go with your weather station. But what we're going to do today is we're going to build a rain gauge. Now, the things you need to build the rain gauge are here on the table. Sellotape, we've got a craft knife, a pair of scissors, a ruler, piece of paper, sharpie pen, a bit of broom handle, plasticine, and a one litre bottle. That's all you need. Now the first thing you want to do is cut the top off the bottle. Now this involves using a craft knife, so obviously if you are young then you need an adult to do this bit for you, um, or at least to supervise you. Because the best way of doing this, getting a nice straight edge, is get yourself a piece of paper, wrap it around the bottle, and we want to cut this off about two thirds of the way up, so round about there. Wrap the paper around nice and straight like that, so the edges meet up. Then get a marker pen and just draw a line all the way around like this. And remove the paper and you end up with a nice straight line. Now at this point you can either, or an adult can, get the craft knife and very carefully cut around there. Make sure you don't get your finger underneath the knife because it will slip as it uh, cuts through the plastic. Or you can get an adult to start this off with the craft knife and then use a pair of scissors to snip around the line. Uh, it's easier to do it with the craft knife, but it is possible to do it quite nicely with scissors if you're careful. Okay, right, once you've cut your bottle in uh, sections like this, this is what you should end up with. You need to get your modelling clay and you need to knead it to make it nice and soft like this. And then you put that into the bottom half of the bottle. Now I'm using a piece of broomstick here just to push it right down into the bottom of the bottle because what we're going to end up with is a nice flat base in the bottom of the bottle. So it might take a little bit of time just to get this exactly right. Okay, right, so we're nearly done. Uh, so once you've got the modeling clay pushed nicely into the bottom of the uh, section of bottle here, try and get all the air gaps out as well and try and make it as flat as you can. All we have to do is put some device in um, to allow us to measure the rainfall. Now you may have seen on weather forecasts and things like that that the rain is measured in millimeters, centimeters, or sometimes even meters of rain. So we need to put some kind of ruler into our rain gauge to allow us to make those measurements. So all you do is you just get a normal ruler. I've used a steel one here because I just happen to have this in the workshop, but you can use a plastic one, it doesn't really matter. And then what you want to do is just put a couple of pieces of tape on it. You may want to use um, strong tape because uh, it needs to stay on there quite tightly, but it also needs to be see-through so you can see what the measurements actually are. So smooth that tape down onto the bottle and hopefully that will stay in position. So there we go, so we've got the bottom of the ruler touching the uh, base of the uh, modelling clay. Now if you're using a plastic rule, they don't always have the scale starting right at the end of the ruler. So you may need to push that into the uh, modelling clay to get the scale starting right on the surface. Then the last thing we need to do to complete our rain gauge is get the top of the bottle <coughs> that we cut off, um, remove the cap and then just poke this in the top like that. Now what that does is it, it helps to prevent unwanted things getting into your rain gauge, so leaves and stuff like that. Um, you can fix that in position with a bit of tape as well. Then you just need to go out and position it. Uh, best position for this is somewhere uh, in the open, nice kind of flat piece of ground with no obstructions that are going to prevent the rain from falling into it. If you're a bit short on open space, you can make a, a holder for this out of an old wire coat hanger and just hang it from the top of a fence or somewhere that's convenient. But the important thing is there's no obstruction around it that will stop rain from falling into the top of it. 
And then what you need to do is uh, just go and have a look at it every day and see how much rain you've collected. You may want to empty it at the end of every day so you can start uh, measuring from scratch each day as well. So there we go, the first part of your weather station, a rain gauge.